today is a day of remembrance for Sambad Sampol so that we shall not forget the justice still has to be brought to the family and to Sambad himself. On the occasion of the sixth month on 15 June since Sambat Sampol was forcibly disappeared, here we are at the gate of the Laos Embassy in Makati, Philippines. And more than a hundred people from all over the world sent their messages and prayers and asked that candles be lighted in, for some bat, some phone, for his safe return and for the investigation to be finally conducted with efficiency, with transparency by the Laos government. Here are more than 100 messages from Asia, Australia, France, Belgium, and other parts of Europe, as well as the United States. This is a day not only for remembering Sambat and what happened to him on December 15, 2012, but this is also a day for reminding the Lao government that justice still has to be served and that Sambat should be found and returned safely to his family. There are so many people who requested that candles be lighted. Uh, for their messages and prayers. So we are now lighting candles. On behalf of all those who sent their messages and prayers to focus on the Global South. From Europe, from Asia, and from the US. who continue to remember Sambad, we are lighting candles on your behalf upon your request. Sambad, we are sending you all the messages of support and hope from all over the world. We shall not forget, we shall not stop until you return safe to your family, to your community, and to your friends. Becky, a human rights defender and an ally here in the Philippines, will just read some of the messages from more than 100 that we've gathered so far. From Kyoka Kamlo, some bus is in our heart forever. Hope he will return safely to his family and to our community soon. From Catherine Nance, I speak a word on behalf of the friends and family of Sombat for his health and well-being, safety, protection, and ingenuity that helpfully forces come to his aid and rescue that the code of silence is breached and broken, ensuring his long-awaited return to those who love him. I claim for him courage, patience, faith, trust, creativity, and gratitude for his safety, his mental clarity, his physical well-being, for nourishment and a clean place to dwell, and a breakthrough in consciousness for those holding him, that they come to see the cause outweighs the benefit of his folly, causing them to release him. From Tanja Vesivalo, Please light a candle for the safe return of Sambat. From Chamsuk in Sova, Suki. I wish UN and the other organizations shows that corrective actions should be taken <coughs> to prevent this from happening in Lao PDR. Mr. Sambat is a well-known man. Imagine those who are not known by international groups. From Ibet Wong of Korea, here's a prayer for Sambat to be safe and for him to return home soon, to be reunited with Shu Ming. May their troubles be over real, real soon. Lakasamol. From Hejin, may Sambat be safe and healthy. 
May some bad be strong, come back to us soon with his big naughty smile. May his family keep strong and not lose faith. May people who detain him have mercy to do what is right. And may the world not forget that he's still not home. From Pierre Marc Blanchet. May some bad come back to his family very soon, sound and safe. May his abductors open their hearts and their minds and understand that the time for sharing has come. May they understand that terror and fear are something from the past and that respect, empathy, happiness, and caring are the bricks to build the new world to come. From Anne Sophie in Ross, I hope Sambat is in good health. I wish that those who detain Sambat treat him well and will release him soon. I pray for his safe return to his wife and to his community. May those who are responsible for his abduction be brought to justice. I pray for a world where enforced disappearances do not happen anymore. From Mahama. Angela Salvatore, I wish for the safe return of some bats and his family and friends. The longer he is missing, the stronger my concerns for his welfare. Good men like some bat make the world a better place. The appearance of some bats and boys. We send our best wishes to his family and friends and continue to hope both for his safe release and return to his family and for an end to the indefensible and repugnant practice to enforce this appearance. Messages from all over the world, from Asia, Europe, Australia, and U.S. are now being read and candles have been lighted upon the request of these people from all over the world who sent their messages and expressions of hope and remembrance from Sambat. From each I hope Sambat is still prisoner somewhere and will be released soon. I hope uh, Lao government will think soon that democracy is critical-minded and open-minded people are better than from Shantalang C. Sisovan, pray for, for Samba to return home safely. God, Buddha, and all spirits bless him safely home. From Joseph and Lou Rock, Rock Sok of Honolulu, Hawaii, we join all of you wonderful people in the quest for Samba's safe return. From Swan. Sender six rule. May he return soon. From Karen Smith. My wish is for Sambat to be safe and for his family to have peace. May all people in the world have freedom from fear and oppression. From Nissan Vita I and my housemate will also light a candle with a sun love and warm to Sambat again. From Sam Pike, I hope and pray for the safe return of Angkang Sombat and for the protection and good health of him and his family. From Rakima, I would like to send my prayer for Mr. Sombat's safe return. Joseph From Mark. From Mark, Liberes Sombat. You can blow out a candle, but you can't blow out a fire. Once the flames begin to pass, the wind will go with fire. From Stuart King, please light a candle for Sambat. From Christina McMillan, I am grateful for Sambat's presence in the world and for his ideas and strength and wisdom that have inspired me and so many others. Now I pray for his safety and that he will be the to his family and friends who love him. I pray for those who have taken some back, that they will learn from him and be inspired by him and look into their hearts and find a way to create a happy outcome. From Clarissa Lau, may the Lord watch over Sambat to keep him safe, to keep him well, to keep him healthy and strong until the day he is returned to us. May Sambat be returned to us soon, really, really soon. From Gisela Moniz da Silva, Lord Jesus Christ, I come to you, me in front of you, dear Jesus, to ask for your blessing on Mr. Sambat and that 
May you light up the eyes and heart of whoever have him right now to think and return Mr. Somba to his dear family. Dear Lord, we are helpless. We have no idea where he is and how he is doing. But we believe you, Jesus, that you take care of him and that you are working in bringing him hope. Dear Jesus, also bless his dear wife and mother who await in hope. Give them strength, light, their mind and heart. Take the pain away. Give them, bless them, to go through this with ease because you are with them. We ask this in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Love you, Mr. Sombat and Ibu Shume. Our hearts are with you always. From Paul Eshu, light a candle for Sombat. From Rio, my heart is with Sombat, with his wife Shume, his family, relatives, and friends. I pray that Sombat is in a safe place, healthy, and will return home soon. I wish his work, his work, his thoughts will continue to inspire and support others to contribute to a better world where we live in harmony and share the opportunities and burdens that life presents to us. From Sophie Kapanas, PSO, Bahatinang Filipino Volunteer of Pilar. We constant prayers for him and my colleagues in Kyle Padipirsen and the whole civil society of Laos to endure and remain strong and hopeful. Sir, pabibigay lang namin, prayers lang naman yan eh, to the, to the head, to the, Okay, uh, just please give it to the ambassador and uh, her officer. Okay. Uh, we handed your messages and prayers for some bot so that the security will hand it over to the officials.